I am going to check out the Icy Winter Records. This is a campaign that I stopped playing because I wasn't good enough to beat all the author times. Uh, because the author times are set by the world's best ice players and also the times are grinded by the world's best ice players. So let's watch how far they push these maps. First one is by Not Impressed, who has decided to drive with a Trekmania turbo car. This is possible now. They do a 360 um, and then you just carry the same speed. I remember this Othermel already took me like 30 minutes. It is not at all easy. You have to land and get the booster and then start under ice slide and this one had to carry so much speed. Wow, able to ice slide through the tunnel. And then finish. How does he have that car? I don't know exactly how they do it, but you can have any 3D model now. I downloaded a skin just to try. This is an actual car, car skin now. Like the game is, you know, r rapidly evolving. You can do this. Whoever knows how this works, you can you can go wild with it. Add a cool 3D model to the game. Anyways, let's let's check out some more <laughs> records. Let's check out uh, map 02. <laughs> now I'm gonna have Pingu for the rest of the video. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, wait, is the horn? This is the horn. I need to play with this car skin later. Okay. Another world record by Not Impressed. Beating Toy Flume. And Willard also has a good time. This one I kind of felt like I got... Yeah, this one I got a really good record on. I remember this. But this... Oh man, the ice speed slide they do is just crazy. This is a mechanic that... I've understood more and more now. But basically, this is just an ice slide, what you're seeing here. But when you are in the fourth gear, and you have a very shallow angle, you can gain so much by keeping the ice slide going. It starts right here. This is a speed slide. And look at it, it keeps going all the way until... Like here. That, that's an ice slide speed slide. And that's what makes these times so fast. We're on a goodbye toy flume. 30.39. They are do not doing a 360, just a regular ice slide through. But maybe, but maybe, psych, spinning through here, trick shot, low line, oh my days, and a wall bang. This has to be a wall bang, right? Wall bang, there to straighten, yes. Beautiful. <gasps> Oh, and the safe finish is faster because of the uphill. Look at the gap he has to aim for. <laughs> the safe fin became the risky finish. That's cool. All right, map 04. We're elected by Zietz. Toy Flume in second. Uh, this ultimate took me so long, and at this point, I kind of lost interest in, in playing all the maps, so... I know how some of these first ones work, at least for ultimate pace, but... Beyond that, I just haven't played them. Speed slide here again. And it requires a very specific angle to work. So low. Wow, nice. Very nice. Toy Flume with a massive world record on map 5. <laughs> like, third place is one second behind. I am top 25 and I'm two seconds behind. No. Oh, that is so hot. It looks so goofy, but this is insane what he's doing. Guys, he's crashing on purpose to initiate ice speed slides. And the second one is to get a better ice slide angle. Look at it again. Like, boom, and now speed slide. And then he also hits this one and sets up for a nice ice slide through here. And then keeps it going perfectly through. Like, Jeremu is one of the world's best ice players. Look at like, what he did for comparison, maybe. I'm expecting this to be a slightly more normal run. Yes, this looks good. Clean inside line. This surface is so cursed. Do you understand why I gave up? <laughs> I can't compete. I will always lose to these guys. I am so glad we checked these. These are awesome. Map 06. Uh, just, just for reference before we watch this, I am 18th world out of 800 and I don't have author metal. The author metals are also insane. 
Okay, let's watch. Speed fight start. Different lines here, but Toy Flum's gonna have a lot more speed. Early setup for this ice slide, and then you gotta hold it all the way to here, and then you want. Wait, no. Why is he? Because he can do a speed slide there. Okay, wow. That's insane. Map 07. World record by not impressed by only 8 thousandths. So you again see the Trackmania Turbo Car skin. Different line? Oh, that is so much faster. What? Did Teufel not have the strat here? Like, he's just flying. There's gonna be some uh, high quality BS in the end, I think. I mean, he's a second behind. Okay, less now. Still, it's one second. Is it this last uh, turn? Does he pull off some insane stuff here? He has way more speed. Whew. Oh, they don't go for the same finish, else it would have looked, I think, cooler, but... Yeah, just insane speed in the ending. 08 Icy version. Piasek with the world record. He also put 100 hours into the real 08. Oh, that is cool. They're doing the same strat for that first landing. Wall hit intentionally into 360 and then clean downhill, start follow. And then a nose dive into another nose dive with a lot of speed through here. And then another nose dive. And he has so much speed. That is a clean run. 09. The, uh, this was one of the only ice maps in the winter campaign. So, uh, ice map turned icy. Not much is going to change. This block changed to make the first turn a little bit more awkward. And these three blocks changed, but that's really about it. One more part here with ice instead of stadium blocks. Oh, what a turn. And then the uphill is also ice. That's, that's all that changed. Really nice runs, not really much to say about them though, they look very normal. Okay, huge time differences here. Toy Flume, oh my god. I just realized this is the Cactus plugin. Yeah, the Cactus Indicator. <laughs> that highlights every single cactus on the map, what a mess. Okay, okay, nice. <laughs> it's a clean first speed slide. Toy Flume, so much speed through here too. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Why is it pinball? What just happened? I want to see it from uh, Jastastic's point of view as well. Wider setup for this jump. Into another ice slide. But yeah, of course, instead of doing a clean turn like this, Toy Flume got the double pinball strat. It looks so wonky. But this is something I've felt for a while, that Trekmania played at the highest level. Just looks... jank. There are so many tricks that the best Trekmania records will never just look like clean, normal, normal racing lines. And here is... proof. <laughs> they full face plant. 470 people play this on the world records intentionally face plant for a red booster. <laughs> oh my god, Toy Flume from high above has the high ground and the speed advantage. Viking Joe, an easy target on the straight. 44.3. So yeah, they could just keep going here with what they have, which is 200 speed, but this is an awkward line, so it's gonna be like 250 uh, probably, and then here they have 470. That is stupid. I mean, that is beautiful, but stupid. I hate that, and I love that. Tigu with the world record sniping toy flume. Jumping further out to the right to get a longer ice slide, meaning a higher speed ice slide than toy flume. Water bounce still works. This map's gonna be... Oh, they can start it from here? No. No, they have to do it in two parts. 
Would be fun if this turned to snow because it's um it's sand in the original map, but that probably is awkward to play. Tigo has less speed in the end. Ooh, not much going on there. Oh god, there are big gaps again. Okay, not impressed. Toy Flume and Grindolf. Let's watch this from Grindolf's point of view, because we haven't seen uh many runs from him. I actually don't even know if I know the player Grindolf, so that's fun. Small ice slide there into another one here. And a third to get the jump, but also to land with an angle facing to the left. You can then set up for this quarter pipe jump upright. Very low jump. And now a pretty good straight line. Gonna be able to jump over most of that hill. Toy Flume and not impressed still. Bad, but... Oh, we didn't how a lot of speed just hit the snow a little bit. Aye, aye, aye. Nice time though. Does it say 34% on the back of uh, Toy Flume's car? It does. It's a team they have. A competitive ice team called 34%. I'm curious here if they're gonna do the shortcut, if it's faster on ice or not. Answer is no. No shortcut. Oh, but... A beautiful spin. If you aren't aware, they're not doing that just for show. It's, it's literally faster with how the grip works on ice in turns like that, to land backwards and start an ice slide the other way. And then finish. Clean run. Oh dear, look at the gaps. Dan's damage level and not impressed. You've seen some good records from these guys before. Viking Joe and Toy Flume, four and five seconds ahead. Like Toy Flume is kind of the new Mika. When Mika is not playing, Toy Flume just crushes so many maps. I want to see this from his point of view. Because this is probably just a stupidly fast run. And let's also add uh, Not Impressed to the comparison. Okay, so ice sliding through here is a lot of penalty. Able to get a clean line through here. Very technical map. Not at all how a good ice map is built. Viking Joe with such a lead here though. Okay, Toy Flume getting a better line through here. Is there going to be some shenanigans happening right here? Or can he ice slide through this entire part? Oh, that is so difficult. You can ice slide up this hill. That's probably where the lead comes from. A little bit hard to see, but that turn that I said was difficult. He, um... He goes for an angle that if you keep going, you will lose the gear. But if you release Accelerate, which is one of the deadliest things you can do in an ice slide, and then catch it again after, you can survive the turn. He goes for something that is so hard to survive and then gets a really nice run with it. Toy Flume, world record by two seconds. What's new? Let's check it out. <laughs> if I can't beat their records, I can try to have more fun. He hits the wall, but that's not the worst. It looks like a very hard start. Give him some skis so you can see the hitbox. Actually genius if someone can make that. Okay, he's gonna go... I think... I mean it. Mwah, that's a chef's kiss. I didn't understand his line at first. I didn't think it would do that well, but then with the late 360 to get a new ice slide. Holy. This just looks so hard to play with cruise control. Beautiful. 17. You know what I wish? I kind of wish they kept the snow car for some of these. Because, I mean, this map has the snow car in the original. <coughs> I'm not saying it would make the map better, but it would be interesting to see how the top players handle snow car on ice, because it is really bad. Outright unplayable in some corners. Not impressed. Going for a small shortcut there. And this next part is going to be interesting, because the boosters on ice are so powerful. Yeah, you just intentionally crash and then get a lot of red boosts, and you're still almost overdumping the attack point. 
Okay, now the snow. Oh, it's removed on this version, okay. Clean. The ending should be tricky though. With the, all the lamps and stuff. That you'd have to jump through. Also, this jump is very awkward for ice, because it's up. Up left, where you're... Nah, I thought it was in 360. Oh? Uh? E? Okay. <laughs> He's able to land on the snow. Nice one. Able to beat Toy Flume. That's not a small order. That's really impressive. Wu Tigu with a 106561 beating Toy Flume and Yaunty. Take a look. Tech map. Have the slowest start. I'm surprised there's not a reactor trick with some flight or something here. Maybe there will be. Oh, that is a lot of speed. And because of it, he has such a good setup into this. Because he carried a lot of speed, it, it helped him set up this up. Wow, so clean. And then... ending? No tricksters here. Hard turn. Oh no, an ice? That's gonna be feel pretty nice, I think. Tap Goulding with 25 months. I think this guy's the Drift King. Imperator, or Imperator. With this world record. Again, not seeing much that is, like, different on this, I think, because the lines are pretty forced. It's a map where you wall hug a lot. So it's all about optimizing for speed, but not really any hard obstacles to pass, I imagine. That's kind of nice. Oh, I am so wrong. They skipped the engine off. Oh, wow, what a setup. I am so wrong. I apologize. That was clean. Ice slides here to not end up too wide. And that I'll have to look at Mitra's line as well. Up to this reactor wall. And then the same wall hug to the finish if he can manage. Yes, he can. I mean, really clean ones. Wow. Like here, this looks on purpose to spin this way and catch this ice slide. I'm so sad he didn't get this, because what a wicked run. Map 20. I have a great deal of experience with this map. Not in the icy version, but 66 hours on the regular. I hope they do something cool. I hope they do do the shortcut. They they must do the shortcut. Yeah, instantly going for it. Toy Flume. Going on this side and then landing in the snow hill. That's actually probably the best you can manage. And then this turn. Probably gonna do a very sharp ice slide to set up for the next shortcut and do that without the wall hit. Oh, a late one! Look at that angle! Oh my god! Did not expect him to get... and then the release trick again. Oh, that's cute! <laughs> I did never would imagined that would be one. And the speed advantage, Toy Flume once again. I think Toy Flume is winning this campaign. Without seeing the last ones, I think Toy Flume's already won. But let ah, okay, he's first again. Uh, this man will not be stopped. Toy Flume spent all the time playing these maps for to say that's cute. Well, you can do a cute line, like a cute trick. That is not just cute, that is, um... I would say more hot. That was pretty nice. The spin there slowed him down so much that he could do that in a nice way. I mean, just... I would like to know what it's like to have this level of control. I play ice. I played it a lot, but... <gasps> the snow car is here still. Okay. <coughs> 
They decided to keep it for this map. Interesting. That's what you have to do now? Wow. Mac trick three years as well. Thank you. 102.7. Really, really cool. 126.96. He beat Teuflon by eight seconds. And let's include Renario as well. Did Imperator and Renario pull off the shortcut on the IC version? This map has a massive shortcut, but you wouldn't think it's possible on ice. But Imperator seems like the type of player that if he can't beat Teuflum on a regular map, he'll hunt the shortcuts. He had map 19 as well. Okay, oh no, okay, backwards to get Reactor up. Skipping the checkpoint to go down again. And then reactor up to actually do the shortcut. And then flying through here. And then I slide from here. Oh, that is nice. Imperator with a better setup, gonna have a lot more speed for this uh, quarter pipe jump. But I don't even know if they can do it. I don't think it's possible. I could not. <gasps> oh my god! Yeah, it is not possible, but if you hit the corner of the plastic circle after doing that for a shortcut, then you make it. <laughs> I mean, that is a well-deserved world record. In Winario's words, it's so stupidly hard, I can imagine. And the pressure going for that too, you need so much speed. I mean, think about it, you're driving every single one of these runs, doing all this to get one chance at it. You still have to hit this, you still have to not fly too fast here, get this skip through here, land on a nice lay down here, and now, after like a solid minute of driving, clean world record pace, you have to get this good ice slide, jump through, Carry so much speed, and then hit the bottom of the circle. In a way that pushes you up and... Yeah, that is not getting beaten. Oh my god, this map's so much longer now. It's uh, it's only 39 seconds on the original. Oh, they removed the uh, reactors. Okay, to make it like a little bit different, I guess. That's a good first message. That's a very good first message. Uh, this also looks like an uh, exploration run. Like, what is going on here? Tristan Colding with Prime. Th what is this? This is the weirdest campaign map I've seen. I think it should have been all snow. Uh, it would probably be impossible, but oh, alas. This is the pod racing map, yeah. <laughs> it's just so, so slow. <laughs> it's a nice run though, but uh, what an experience. It's pod racing now, yeah. I know it's off topic, but in Germany we have something called oven cheese, and I will devour it. Happy new legislation, guys. So, you can't just say that, because any German who says in Germany we have something called, you will always say the, the German word and never explain it. In Germany we have something called the uh, 187 Straßenbande. And uh, I'm a big fan. You know, that's that's how you do it. You just say the German word and refuse to give context. Ah, the Offenkasse. Yeah. Yeah. That is good. Eine Delikatesse, ne? Teufel has the world record on this and on the real map. But completely destroy the others here by almost a second. Oh, so much speed. Holy. 
speeders. He has to slow down. 360? You bet. You bet. You can always rely on this man to give me endless YouTube shorts with 360s. Guys, after watching this man play the 25 maps, I have like 15 YouTube shorts of him just doing 360s and we're all gonna just consume consume them like often casa toy flume with another record on map 25 the last one of the campaign but skirt tm Wait, i think we should watch skirt if you have a name like skirt and you're good at ice that's that's pretty pretty cool it has snow car <laughs> they actually put snow car ice and toy flume hunted and got the record so snow car is terrible on ice by the way like the reason they're driving like this is because you they they cannot control it the car does not really steer a lot on ice unless you have boosters like reactors or a regular booster. It's actually cool. Woo! Skirt! In Sweden, we have this word called Ludifox. I think this guy is definitely a Ludifox. Also, you will thank you for the 37 months. I mean, just look at this. This, it's almost like watching a marble race because they cannot steer their car. It's like watching marbles on stream. Holy, he got grip on the wall. Insane line from the cyan marble. Working his way through here with a lot of speed. Blistering fast, world on record pace. Not the ending. With snow car aware. <laughs> I can't believe these are the strats. Oh no. Wait, Toy Flume got this so fast? What did he do? I want to watch Toy Flume. And see his ending. But. We would have to wait two minutes. I cannot skip ahead. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. Everybody focus up. Toy Flume far behind. This is like one and a half to two seconds. Lines up left? <laughs> you have to drive two minutes to grind a stupid snow car over wall backwards landing into front with 200 speed. But I think it's safe to say that with that, Toy Flume secures his spot as the greatest ice player in that campaign. Just how many points out of 1 million possible did he get? This is a big number. He got 713,000. Double that of second place. About almost, and almost triple of third. Uh, maybe I'll try the next one. I, I didn't try this one because the author times were too hard, but maybe I'll try the next one. We will see. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Ice Players, for being so cool and handsome and driving such good runs. I love you. Thank you uh, for, for the content.